Hello, this is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show you how to emit particles and objects along the spline using emitter and field force. Create a helix spline by clicking and holding on the rectangle icon and choosing helix from the pop-up palette. Go to the object tab, increase the height to 400 cm, change the plane to XZ and adjust the helix in the viewport. Create an emitter by opening the Simulate menu and clicking on Emitter. Right-click on the emitter object in the Object Manager, select Animation Text and click on Align to Spline. Select the Align to Spline expression that appears to the right of the emitter in the Object Manager. Drag and drop the Helix object into the Spline Path box and check the Tangential box. Thus, we directed the emitter along the beginning of the spline. Align to spline expression also allows you to animate the movement of the emitter itself along the spline, but for now we will only use this tag to position the emitter relative to the spline. To create a field force, open the simulate menu, select forces and click on field force. Then go to the object tab of the field force, drag and drop the helix object into the fields list, Set the velocity type to the change direction. Click on the helix in the fields list. Go to the direction tab below and uncheck the invert direction box. If necessary, adjust the properties of the emitter's particles. Let's increase the birth rate and speed. To do this, select the emitter in the object manager. Go to the particles tab. Increase the birth rate viewport and birth rate renderer to 15. and raise the speed to 250 cm. Then extend the timeline to 300 frames and press the play forwards button in the animation toolbar. The particles are emitted along the spline. Stop the animation and go to the start of the timeline. Now let's make the particles visible as objects. Create a platonic object by clicking and holding on the cube icon and choosing platonic from the pop-up palette and reduce its radius to 20 cm. To color the object, open the material manager, create a new material, change its color to red, apply it to the platonic and close the material manager. Then make a platonic object etch out of the emitter. Select the emitter in the object manager. Go to the particles tab and check the show objects box. Press the play forwards button. Now the emitter emits objects. Thank you for your attention. Subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.